Welcome y'all to Red Oak, Missouri. Well, Red Oak 2, Missouri. Well, actually, Carthage, Missouri. <laughs> let me, uh, let me explain all that. So we're actually in Carthage, Missouri. Now this is a replica town of Red Oak, Missouri. It's called Red Oak 2. So Red Oak, Missouri, back in the 1930s, was a bustling little town, but after World War II, a lot of people started leaving Red Oak for their big jobs in bigger cities, and one of those residents, Lowell Davis, came back to Red Oak years later and noticed that everybody had left. He was sad to see the town go down, so guess what he did? He took all the buildings, or a lot of the buildings from Red Oak, moved them 25 miles away near Carthage, Missouri, set them all up out here on his land, redid them, repurposed them, repainted them, set them up like the old town, and invited people to come out and see them. Well, I think other people own them now. I think it's what the website said, but people are still invited to come and look at them. So that's what we're doing. We're just gonna wander around this cute little town out here. You can see some stuff behind me. We're gonna check it out before we go to our main attraction tonight. I'm gonna take you with me to that too. So let's check it out. So in case you're wondering how people from Missouri actually pronounce Missouri, it's right here on the sign, Missouri. And like I said, this is Red Oak 2. Lowell Davis being the artist, resident of the original Red Oak, built this or rebuilt all of this out here for folks to enjoy. Get a taste of a small town. I'm just gonna walk and have a look-see. Little picket fence right there. Even got the mailbox there. I don't know. Oh, it's got a little plaque that kind of tells you. This is the parsonage. This house was originally located on Grand Street in Carthage and was moved to Red Oak 2 in late fall of 89. Very cool. So this is not only buildings from the original Red Oak Town, but from other little ghost towns as well, or from other places. Nice. Beautiful home. They got some old cars out here. You saw the old pickup truck over there. We've got some really old places here. And it's cool that they have the plaques that you can read what they were. Also, if you're not into walking, it's like this, it's it's paved out here. It's got a rock path, so I think you can drive down here as well. And just, and if you don't want to walk the whole way. An old rusty car. Looks like there's a garden back there. This is so cool. They've got places for donations, y'all, but this is completely free to walk through or drive through. Yeah, the train station here. The only way to get a train station in Red Oak 2 was to build one. The restored train station at the Corona Train Depot and Railroad Museum were the main models he used. So he built this. Wow. Awesome. We got the train track here. That's so neat. Look at the barns and stuff like that. A farmhouse over there. We've got the big windmill going. So this was an old fort that someone else built and put on their property and Mr. 
Lowell contacted that person and asked if he could move it out here for his little display. I say little. But, uh, yeah, this is called Fort Hooker. <laughs> How cool. This is the Otis cabin, or mother-in-law's house. Look how cute this is. Right here by the gazebo in Fort Hooker. <laughs> Got a little bridge, little walkway headed up here. Creaking boards. Whoa, it kind of looks... <laughs> oh, there is like some water over there. I was like, this looks swampy, like we're out in Louisiana somewhere. Oh, you can see inside maybe a little bit. Got a little table with some books on it. Whoa, cool. Cool view. I've got some other houses over here. Wow, this place is massive. It's bigger than what I thought it was. Look, there's the outhouse in the back of the house there. The mother in law's house. Yeah, it goes like way back around here. And there's some more stuff up front too that I passed by that I'm going to have to go back and look. Check this little house out with the gate. I love the train. The metal train on the top of that gate. Quaint little house, but there's a big airplane back here. Military looking plane. I'm not real savvy on airplane so I'm not sure what exactly it is but it looks cool it's got Betty Boop on it there she is wow cool kind of neat. It's just like randomly back here. This uh, building back here, I don't know, but I want to say that you can rent little places out here that people actually stay back here. That's what this is. I see the satellite dish. I don't know if people stay here, live here, or what. It was just short-term rental, long-term, if people live out here. Fill in the blank there. I have a couple of different... I have a couple of different answers. Leave yours in the comments below. I want to see what y'all think the end of that sentence should be. doubling back now headed back towards the van and saw this it says woman's work she's us using some kind of sawing contraption there <laughs> but check this house out look at the willow tree love it got a wagon right here this is so gorgeous. Wouldn't it be awesome to have a house like this? Just beautiful. Look at all of the flowers. Wow. So pretty. We got another little station right here. It's got a little train in front of it. Kind of neat looking. And a big iron horse right up here 
This is the, of course, Iron Horse. Neat building. It's got the little lights down here on the path. So this next home is the White Oak Creek Civil War House. And it was originally located just west of the original Red Oak, Missouri. Ooh, we got a bumblebee following us, sorry. <laughs> He's protecting this place. Look at the arch on this. Beautiful house. And then that is the barn. It, I mean, the barn and the house are kind of together. So pretty. This cute little blue house is actually called the Dalton Gang Homestead. And it's funny, the sign here says that Red Oak 2 was not intended to be a town for outlaws, but sometimes a particular building or house becomes available that we feel must be saved. This one was located just east of Ven Venita, Oklahoma, and was moved here in 1992 and restored. And there's a cool boys night out Dalton gang <laughs> sign here on the front so this building has been around for a long time it's actually from Jasper Village which is west of Carthage Missouri it says here and this building was used for many things general store, post office, among other things, was moved out here to be restored and kept. And then next door, we've got another kind of large home with an ornate archway. Or is that just a decoration there? A tree? It's like a metal tree. <laughs> Definitely interesting. Look at look at the woodpecker on there on the side. <laughs> Let's see. Let's read about this place. White Mule Distillery, it says down here. This was the Garfield Wiley Cabin. Characters have always been Mr. Lowell's favorite kind of people and there were none more colorful than Garfield Wiley. It says old Garfield was a hired hand for the Bay Williams farm but spent most of his time hunting and fishing. This log house came from the old Route 66 highway. Nice. This house is currently a private residence it says. <laughs> So we're not going to bother anybody. We're just going to ignore how cool is that. That is a neat old house. This is kind of where I started walking because my van is parked here and just decided to hoof it a little bit. But this is a church here. And uh, I believe they do have services on Sundays. According to the little sign, it says open Sunday. Look at all the old chairs out here. But yeah, it's a neat old church house. And then, uh, next door it looks like oh wait there's actually a the cemetery is <laughs> right back there up on the hill behind the church house you got a another old car here and a cute little gas station over there retro gas station look at that cute little building you've got the pumps over here 
so cool. I love the color too. Now I'm just driving around now, kind of making the loop. Stopping when I see something interesting. Y'all, there's more out here than what you think. There's the cemetery right there that's behind the church. But this is the marshal's office. Awesome looking. They did an awesome job. Ralph Hooker, it says. Got a big lock on it. And is that the adjoining, is that an adjoining cell or I'm not sure. <laughs> but there's also a gallery. The artist, the guy who brought the buildings out here and set them up and whatnot. And there is actually a gallery. See the dog in the doghouse? Long days, cold nights, it says. That looks really neat, though. I don't. I don't remember how long this place is quote unquote open, so I'm just kind of perusing. But look, here's one of the. Is this a jailhouse right here? Yeah. Oh, this is the Red Oak Child Care Center, it says. <laughs> just look how cute. What is this, like the chicken house? Like the hen house? Oh, there's actually, is that a bird? Yeah, there are peacocks back there. Let's check them out. Yeah, so this is, it looks like a chicken house, a hen house. Oh yeah, there's chickies in there. Hi, chickies. They're kind of running around, they're like, we don't know you. <laughs> um, oh, look at the little station right there. Gosh. This is the uh, Cackleberry Park. <laughs> yeah. We got some peacocks back here chilling out. We got a pretty white peacock. So we made it back around technically to the front here. This is the Red Oak Town Hall. building. <laughs> I got the benches out here, okay. They've got the Republican seat and then you've got Democrats. <laughs> you got a long seat and a short one. Oh, I'm not gonna touch that one, but uh, here is a little map here. Visit beautiful Carthage, it says. City of Carthage, as it's got a little map with the attractions on it. We're gonna visit another one of those Carthage attractions a little bit later. But uh, look at this cute little building. All right, so this is actually a Red Oak Cafe, it says right here. It's at the very front when you come in. I'll kind of swing around. It's right here. It's right off this road. Type it into Google. It'll take you right to it. You can come in and this is like a circle drive. Like I said, you can drive and stop and take pictures or you can park somewhere like at the church like I did and just kind of walk around. There's a store right there. And then there's a little schoolhouse down there. This is so cute. This is worth a stop. Old Route 66 stuff. Love these kind of roadside attractions. It's getting a little warm now and the mosquitoes are about to carry me off. So we're gonna go to our next little outing. When we get there, you'll know, I'll explain. So let's go to the next stop. We are back at 66 Drive-In, Carthage, Missouri. We're going to watch Twisters tonight.
I did bring Annie with me, by the way. You can see her back there chilling out. We're going to watch the movie at the drive-in. Now, I'm a huge fan of the original Twister movie. Um, kind of a scary movie to me because I'm not a fan of storms. <laughs> so this one, I had to see. I had to see the Twisters movie. I've heard it's good. What better place to enjoy it because I was going to be up this way anyway than come to the drive-in and watch it. <laughs> so you do have to wait in kind of a long line to get into the drive-in. I would recommend probably lining up at around 45 minutes to an hour before they open the gate. Uh, check their times on their website. And then you come in and you pick a spot. It's first come, first serve on the spot. I like to get up here on the very front row so that no one is in front of me and watch. But probably the further back you get, maybe the better. Some people have different ideas about that. But no matter where you're at, it's going to be a good view of the movie. But you will have to bring... Y'all don't have to bring your cat from home, but... What I would suggest you do is bring a radio, FM radio. They do tell you what station to tune into to hear the audio because they don't have outside speakers. Now, you may get lucky if your neighbor beside you has a pretty good speaker, but last time that we came to see a movie, which was Jaws, by the way, nobody had a good speaker right next to us. So, I've got this one this time. Got my headphones just in case. So we're prepared, right, Annie? Annie came the last time, too. You ready for this? You ready? <laughs> I'm going to link that other video when we came out the first time to Carthage, Missouri to the 66 drive-in, which I just looked. This is where I bought my first magnet for my van. This is what started my whole collection. I was just watching that old video like a couple of nights ago and noticed that that was my first magnet. But anyway, I'm going to link that video below so y'all can watch it because we did some other really cool things in Carthage. Uh, so if you're in this area, you'd probably want to check out some of those other locations that we did the last time. So do check that video out if you haven't already. But we're gonna chill out, get situated. I brought my little chair too. That's another thing. Do bring like a lawn chair or a camping chair with you. Unless you just wanna sit in the car the whole time, which you can do too, but a lot of people sit outside. Oh. There's also like a little playground right here in front of the screen, but y'all, while the movie is on, they're not allowed to be out there, so don't worry. There's not kids running around playing and screaming during the movie. It's just in the intermission and before the movie starts. Get my chair ready. Set it outside. Set it right out front. Pretty good seat. And it's disappeared. She's hiding. I just wanted to show y'all. Thanks to my Pacron power station here. I've got my little radio hooked up. Of course, I brought some batteries too, just in case I needed to. But yeah, they're already playing music. But I've tuned in. I wasn't sure whether I was going to really want to wear those or not. Just depends. I guess we'll see. But... She finally came out of hiding. I think it's time to go get some food. Alright, made it back. This is what I'm working with here. Just a cheese dog. And there's some regular nachos there. And a Coke. We still got a little while until the movie starts, so I'm gonna enjoy this. It doesn't start until I think it's like nine something, like right at dark. So they have a cute little concession stand here, kind of in the middle, so it's really easy for everybody to get to. 
and the restrooms are located there too so it's all like centrally located but they have a lot of stuff like hot dogs nachos polish hot dogs even popcorn a bunch of candy and stuff like that just like your normal theater food and it's really not that bad the prices are are pretty reasonable if you don't bring your own snacks which you can technically bring your own snacks inside uh, the location just don't bring alcohol uh, but you can bring drinks and snacks but if you don't make sure you go by the concession stand because I I read that that's really where they make their money to keep this place going is through their merchandise and their food their ticket sales just don't really do it um, so if you want to support places like this make sure you buy their merch and uh, go get you something from the concession stand it's actually pretty darn good You'll hear the advertisement. Hi. Ice cream bar. It's the handy way to enjoy smooth, rich, creamy ice cream. Get some. Piping hot, golden buttered popcorn at the refreshment center right now. <laughs> I uh, turned my fan on. Oh, that breeze feels so good. I was fanning myself with uh, just a good old fan. I carry that in my purse like all the time. Even got my little party lights on. I don't know if I'm gonna keep those on. I think I need to change the batteries. It's getting a little dim. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're still waiting. When y'all come out to do this, just plan on this being like an all evening thing. Cause it takes a while to get in. Then it takes a while to get situated here and then go grab something to eat or go ahead and eat what you brought and then wait on the movie which you're basically waiting until it gets dark. So you're looking about, you're looking at several hours in the evening beginning at around like 6 o'clock till whenever. And I don't know if I told y'all but there's actually two movies so you pay $10 to get in and that gives you two movies. So Twisters is playing first, and I think the other movie is like the Quiet Place movie, the new movie. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to stay for both. Why not? Uh, if nothing else, just chill out in the van and edit a video during the next movie. But, I mean, I paid. I might as well stay, right? So, anyway, just be advised. This is, if you plan to come do this, just plan your whole evening here. Just chill out and relax because it takes a while. You watching everybody, Annie? Keeping them in check? She's watching all the kids that are still out there. We're just patiently waiting. I don't know if I'm gonna open. Oh, here we go, look. Yay. Are you here? Yeah. Here we go. Yep, check. We got it on FM 106.5. We'll catch y'all after the movie. What'd you think, Annie? Comments? No? Alright, that's it. It's the end of the movie. So I'll just be honest. It, there was a lot of action in this movie. It was a good movie, but of course... It's not as good as Twister. Twister is still way better. Such a good movie. This one, yeah, it's all right. It's it's good. It's good, but yeah, to me, it just doesn't compare to the first. But they hardly ever do, don't they? Anyway, um, they're gonna have like a little intermission, 
and then they'll play the second movie and I think I'm gonna hang around for that maybe do some editing and try to find somewhere to sleep for the night while we're here in town because we're not gonna get out of here until late here's their little intermission which is cute Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Ten minutes till the next movie. Y'all tell me if you've seen Twisters. Tell me what you thought of the movie and if you liked it. Just kind of chilling out in here again. I've been looking at my videos and trying to get those together I'm just watching it out the window I've got the radio still turned on in here so we've got the sound going all of the devices over here and I'm just watching this movie out one of my windows <laughs> Alright, I think I am going to end this video here. I think this one's going to be long enough for today. Thank you for coming along on this adventure into Carthage, Missouri. The little Route 66 town. That was really neat. I would say that is worth a stop here. And of course, the 66 drive-in right outside of downtown Carthage, Missouri. Uh... This is, like I said earlier, this is my second time to come here to watch a movie. And I will most likely be back to watch another one. So, again, I will link the previous video when we came out to watch Jaws on the big screen out here, which was really cool. And we did a whole lot of other things uh, in Carthage that is worth a look-see. So... I'll link all that below. Come back, see where we wander to next. Please like this video if you saw anything inside of it that you liked. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. It sure helps. And I will uh, see you the next time. Oh, I, I meant to tell you, I, we're, I did find a place to stay tonight. And it's going to be good old Cracker Barrel. So, like I've said in a previous video, you camper van people, van lifer people, whatever... Just traveling, need a place to stay, people, overnight. Cracker Barrel usually comes in clutch, so thank you, Cracker Barrel, for allowing us to stay in the parking lot overnight. But anyway, I will see you the next time, probably real soon. We'll see you then, okay? Bye-bye for now.